in it because you know those like those are those principles you know that not only create businesses but it creates you know evolution in, in the person and that's a great point you mentioned with tupac shakur and kanye with those, those those are their names right yeah that you you watching these people express themselves yeah. on microphones and or on tv they you know so you're yeah. watching the real like can't like if i ask you right now has dame changed ain't dame the same that's the same dame and, and you, I was gonna get into, you know i was gonna get yeah. into that <laughs> yeah i'm just saying yeah yeah so this, yeah. this dame dash this him you know what I'm that's all day <laughs> yeah, that's, so you're oh, and, yeah. and, and you know and 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 you know just from watching backstage or even when i first time i saw dame dash speak mm -hmm. i felt them and and he's you can play any one of his interviews it's it's the same thing you know he's always like you know forward thinking believing in us why can't we do our own thing you know mm -hmm. and that's the person that gave kanye west a chance so if we took away Dame, we have no Kanye. And and to, to, to just to interject with Dame, man, like I, uh, and family, he met Dame. You know, he had he sat down, you talked with Dame. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think Dame approach. I think Dame is. I've always respected him as far as his, like you said, his forward thinking, his ownership, uh, uh, his 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 resolve to own what we create. But I think his approach, the way he was coming off early on, is what turned people off because it, it felt very like accusatory and very uh like uh, ag very aggressive as some people say right but you made it they did yeah the same way well yeah when i yeah. met him it, i mean him had a beautiful conversation i can post the video up uh mm -hmm. from where that was cut but <clears throat> uh he was more into the movie we'll put a link, we'll put a link in the, I think. yeah we'll i put the link you can watch it and maybe we yeah. had a uh it was it wasn't uh any pushback it was more so he was he was interested just like you you know like having we was having a conversation about mm -hmm. economics and he would ask me questions on how I did things and I can explain it. That was like, you know, with the uh, indie film night, I was telling him how I created the indie film night. My black home groups, my private shows, my fashion shows, my comedy shows, my poetry shows, my expos and my movie go, everything come liberal like that. And just to show people how to put the medicine in the candy because we feel like we can't do it like I am always say. I don't never feel like I need nobody talking like that y'all. But if y'all ain't have my back, then fuck it. Think about this. When you have uh, people like that, like Yay or Dame, like these people are forward thinkers, it gets frustrating when you're trying to bring the future into now. Think about it. Look at Kanye. Mm -hmm. First, we was calling him crazy. Oh, he's crazy. And he was like talking about the Medici family. You know, mm -hmm. he, had, he he been there. You know, you know, you're talking to somebody like imagine somebody going to the future and coming back. And then he's explaining it. You're gonna say, "Are oh, you crazy?" Now he's ten billion up, so you can't call somebody that's, you know, since black people like to put money over morals, he's ten mm -hmm. billion up. So now he's like, "I had the son hold, and I had to put all of them on the call and be like, all y'all put together ain't got more money than me. So y'all gonna listen to what I'm saying? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to talk about the capital, right. but right. you know, you you can't be crazy and you got 10 billion dollars in your account mm -hmm. or you you worth 10 billion dollars it just mm -hmm. doesn't add up so now mm -hmm. what are we now everybody's listening to him and then if you listen to him <clears throat> he's just for the culture that's it dame is it's just those people uh, what it wasn't any pushback with me and dame because i think we was on the same wavelength but when you're trying to help the people you're fighting with it gets frustrating I'm, I'm just I, I deal with it all the time. I'm trying to help the sheep. They bite me, <laughs> you right. know, but in the end, um, they always see what I'm saying. It's just that I'm like 10 years later. That's all I was saying. I was saying it 10 years ago, you know, <laughs> you know, but it gets frustrating when you're 10 years ahead of the curve. When you're ahead of the curve and you're mm -hmm. trying to tell people, yo, this is the way to go. Don't you know, it, it gets frustrating. When you're already there, I swear it does. You know. Yeah, yeah, and I think, and, and I think, you know, what you're saying, brother, you know, speaks volumes because, you know, let's be real here. When it's coming from, from when it's coming from the body and from the voice box of somebody who's black, you know, whether it be man or woman, people, even our own people, unfortunately, look at it sideways because. We've been, like I say, going back to education. We've been educated to, to look towards, you know, new distance, musk or 
uh, Warren Buffett or um, what's another, uh, Jeff Bezos. You know, you know they are they are because we don't have any models, right? Yeah. Uh, imagine if we had. Um, you know, it's the first person I said was Dr. Claude Anderson. Right. So, and a lot of people don't even know. Like, if I had to pick one person, it would be Dr. Claude Anderson. If they say, mm -hmm. "Well, you you can only have one hero or one person you could talk to or meet," right? Um, ah, man, him and Dame though, it's kind of neck and neck. But I still would. I think I would lean toward Dr. Claude Anderson because mm -hmm. um, he's been there for so long. You know what I'm saying? And that's my. Uh, as, as much as I love Malcolm and Martin and Marcus Garvey, he is the top. You know, I think. And then you know, I'm. He's still here. You know, he's mm -hmm. still he's still alive. And uh, right. man, I just I would love that's I would love to meet him and have this conversation and uh, uh, study up under him because I mean he's on point. I shared one of his posts today, man. I love that brother, man, and um, he's on point yeah. economically. You know, he 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 he's more yeah. to the economic side of it, definitely. You know, versus you know taking a broke approach, trying to you can't fight your you can't fight a capitalistic society, America. With how you feel, it's all about man. What can you? What is what you can do mm -hmm. for this economy? You know what I'm saying. So that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like dealing yeah. with a mobster. He was like, "Y'all want the money? I don't care about how you feel or whatever. You got the money. You know what I'm saying. You got my money. You know what I'm saying. Like, I don't care about. I don't care about your daughter. I don't care about. You know. And, and this America is a capitalistic mm -hmm. society. You mm -hmm. know. So I'm not saying that you have to be like greedy or whatever i just say be prepared be able to contribute don't be a complainer be a contributor okay mm -hmm. so a lot of times complaining is oh we need justice no justice no peace i'm saying okay look you got all these people on this street okay look let's tally our money together and build our own neighborhood our own grocery stores or whatever let's do some business with some vendors get ourselves together and have our own police department have our own, and we and we can govern ourselves just like mm -hmm. I do at home. I mm -hmm. govern myself. Everybody does that in their house. Don't you govern yourself or where you the place you live? Right. right. So why can't we just come together as a collective, buy some buildings and blocks and land, and just start our own thing? But a lot of times, man, um, when it comes to change like that, uh, you have to change. And a lot of people don't want to change. Change. They just want to complain.